Thank you everybody for joining us tonight for the Summer Creek Drive and Southside Flow Transfer Station Project. Your project manager is Susie Abbey. She can be reached at 817-392-8209 or you can email her at suzanne.abbey at fortworthtexas.gov. All of this information is in the chat. If you open the chat, you'll get the project, how you, how you get to the project page, and we've got some other uh, information in there. And I'm going to pass this off to Susie. Susie? Well, hi, everybody. Um, on the agenda today, we're going to start off with some introductions and give you a project overview, um, show you the project area, and then go through some frequently asked questions. So your project team includes myself. I'm the project manager. My name is Susie Abbey. And my phone number again is 817-392-8209. And you can email me at suzanne.abbey at fortworthtexas.gov. And our engineering design consultant on this project is Frieza Nichols and Olivia Kurz is the project manager. So why are we doing this project? This project is one of two in this area that will supply higher pressure water to new development in the southern part of the city. And uh, this will increase the level of service to customers in the area. Part one is the south side four booster pump station and hydro pneumatic tank, which is under construction at 5800 Stuart Phelps Road. The project page link to part one is shown here. Um, the project we're talking about today is for a transfer station, which is part two of the overall project, and it will support the operation of the new pump station and will transition homes and businesses in the area to the new pressure plane created by part one. Uh, the name of this project is Summer Creek Drive and Southside 4 flow transfer station project, and the work will include new valves. Um, new water lines and a new flow transfer station. So the project area is bound by Cookstown Lane to the north, Summer Creek Drive to the east, Fogata Lane to the south, and Cavana Drive and Chisholm Trail Parkway to the west. Summer Creek Middle School is three blocks to the north of Cookstown. Uh, the project is in Council District 6 and will impact the Panther Heights Neighborhood Association. The design phase calls for a pressure plane valve near Cookstown Lane, as well as five proposed water lines and connections within the project boundaries. The streets affected by this project will be Cookstown Lane. Um, a pressure plane valve will be installed there. Uh, Rancho Verde Parkway from Jamison Lane to 150 feet east uh, for an eight inch diameter water line. Cavana Drive from the north end of the street to 500 feet north through the Encore right of way for an eight inch water line. Also the Summer Creek Drive right of way from Posada Lane to 350 feet north to the Encore right of way will be affected uh, during the installation of a 12 inch water line. Also Summer Creek Drive right of way from Pogada Lane to 650 feet north to Posada Lane for 12 inch water line and Fogata Lane from the east dead end to 150 feet east for an eight inch diameter water line. So what is a pressure plane? A pressure plane is an area of the city at a certain elevation range that receives water of a certain pressure. So this project is in the south side three pressure plane and the south side four pressure plane. The project specifically will transition parts of the Panther Heights Neighborhood Association area and McPherson Village Development from the South Side 3 pressure plane to the South Side 4 plane, pressure plane. Um, areas transition to the new pressure plane will see an increase in water pressure. The water system pressures are expected to increase 10 to 15 PSI in the existing development areas. All of the south side four pressure plane will see pressures ranging from 40 to 80 PSI, which is typical service in the city of Fort Worth. The float transfer station will be located in the Summer Creek Drive right away 
in a 31 by 35 foot area east of Fogato Lane. The flow transfer station will maintain water quality in the area by transferring a continuous flow of south side four water to the south side three pressure plane. The flow transfer will keep the water moving and fresh and will also help st stabilize water pressure in the area. The part one booster pump station is just south of the Sun Country elevated storage tank near the intersection of Stuart Feltz Road and Stuart Feltz Road. Construction of part one is expected to wrap up by late fall of 2022. This particular project is still in the design phase and we expect to finalize design, advertise for bids and select a contractor by fall 2023. We'll host a community meeting for construction after we have a contractor on board. You can track the progress on the project at this site, which will be updated periodically. And you can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put in the project number 103116-2 in the search bar on the homepage. The link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary and frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. Here's my contact information once again. My name is Susie. My phone number is 817-392-8209. And my email address is suzanne.abby at fortworthtexas.gov. If you need to report an emergency or non-emergency, you can call 817-392-4477 and select option one for emergencies. Um, 24 hours a day, or you can reach out to the call center from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Um, you can also download the My Fort Worth app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Here are some other ways to make a report. You can text hello to 817-835-MY-FORT-WORTH and type in one word like street light out and the request will go directly to the specific team or department for a quick response. Or you can go online at this link, scroll down to the report online easily tab, scroll through the topics and select the one that fits your situation like water pressure issue. Click on that, type in the street address, and then follow the prompts. Thank you, Susie. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, Tiffany, do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for joining us again. As Susie said, we will come back to you when we're ready to go into construction and have a second meeting with the public. Thank you everybody.